finish him. Kill the guy now. Run the gun. Hit him. Uh, What's what this? What is this? Good day, sir. You are watching Jackie Pan in my house. Who is King Kong, sir? Eh? King Kong. You, you've never heard of ACTV before in your life. ACTV is very educative, informative, and there are football sports there. There is entertainment. There are a lot of things you can You can even attend lectures here. All you know is watch all those nonsense artists and do, do nonsense or uh, you watch nonsense on TV. Eh? Last night you almost came in bed with your fist. It's not me, sir. Eh? You, and you wake up every morning, the bed will be so rough, like you've been fighting off your dream. Eh? That's the reason why you have F's in your body, like but I have, special image for you. I have last semester. E, we eat by pounds on you. Very stupid. Oh, yeah, change that section to SCTV right now. And oh, God, the baby to have your boss eh? Stupid boy. Hello viewers at home, this is another beautiful day in the world of uh, music theory. Um, last time we discussed about key signature and I gave you how to list each of the key signatures starting from the sharp keys to the flat keys. I gave you the technical names so that the technical name of the tonic which is your do while singing in tonic sofa is a tonic. Do sounds at I mean tonic then re is also supertonic and likewise the rest when you check your previous lesson, you will see all of this. Then I gave you the list of the key signature, starting from the first key, which I told you you must have at the back of your mind, that your first key is G major with one sharp, that is F sharp. Then I told you if you want to start counting, if you have forgotten about the list, you can start from your G major, which is the first key, you count five. And from G, which is G, A, B, C, D, that's the fifth alphabet. So, and that is, that gives us a uh, key of D major. Then for the sharps, the first sharp is F sharp, that is F, G, A, B, C. That is, C is the fifth one, and it gives us the second sharp under the key of D major. You start counting your five for both the key name and the sharps. Likewise, for the flat keys, I told you that if you are on the flat keys, that is your F major, which is the first key. Then you start counting four from the first key, which is F, G, A, B. So from F, you move to B flat major, which is the second key. And the first flat, which is B. So from B, you start B, C, D, E, F, B, C, D, E, F. So, I mean, from that you have your B and E. B, E as the second flat. So from F, sorry, not from B. From F, you count five, I mean four. And that one will give you F, I mean F, G, A, B. So it gives you B and E as the second key. Then you, for you to get the rest of the of the keys, you have to start counting four. Then I'm not going to uh, stay on that because that is not where we are going this week. So we want to discuss the construction of key signature. How to put each of these uh, flats or each of these shafts on the, on the key, which is the uh, construction of a key signature. You can put it on the staff one after the other. Then I'm going to shift from this level to the use of the chalkboard because I'm going to construct said construction of key signature. I'm going to start constructing them one after the other. So I will move to the first key under the sharp keys. G major is the first key under the sharp key. G major. So you can see on the board. So if you are to construct your key signature of G major, 
So you have to use the first uh, sharp. You place it on the board. The first sharp is F sharp. And where is your F? This is where you are going to make use of the identification of lines and spaces on the, on the staff. So, you know, I told you that your lines is every good boy deserve favor. So, the fifth line of the treble stave is what? Is F. And that is where you are going to put your first sharp, indicating the key signature of G major. So, uh, you put your F sharp on the, on the line. And mind you, if you want to put your sharp on the line, your sharp must be, let me give you an example. You know your sharp is having two upright line and then two horizontal lines. So if it is on the line, your sharp, the line must pass through the center of your sharp. The line must do what? It must pass through the center of your, of your uh, staff. I mean, of your line. But if you are to place the sharp on the space, these two horizontal lines must touch the upper line and the lower line, which shows you are putting the sharp on the space. So you can see the difference of, uh, from, uh, between how to put a sharp on the line and uh, how to put a sharp on the space. So likewise, you see the first key, which is the key of G major. Anywhere you see a key having just one sharp, so you already know that you are in the key of G major, G major. So now, if you are in the key of G major, where is your G on the, on the staff, on the treble staff? You know, I told you, you have the first line every good. So your G is on the second line, which shows that every second line on the treble staff, second line on the treble staff will give you your do, if you are to read your music. Your second line, which is G, is the ohm key, in the key of G major. So if you are to run your scale, I mean, the key of G major, you are to run your scale, you start from G. Your G will sound do. So G will sound do, the next space we sound re, which is the supertonic. The next line we sound mi. The space here we sound fa, so dominant, la submediant, t leading note, and do, which is the upper tonic, the upper tonic. So that is for the key of G major. So anywhere you see this key signature, just look. The second line is your do. And anywhere you see G on the staff, you can see another G is still on the space above the fifth line. So this space above the fifth line will also give you your Do, so which is the, the tonic. So that is for G major. Then for the second key, I told you that the second key is the key of D major. Key of D major. So how are you going to construct the sharp? So the, the sharp for the key is the first one, which is already on F. I'm not going to write the, uh, the clef again. I'm just going to put your key signature. You know after the clef, your key signature comes after the clef. So, but this one is only the key signature I'm going to put. So this is for your F sharp. Then the second sharp is C. When you check your list, you know you have your F and C. So the second sharp is on C. What you will do, I'm going to quickly give you an analysis now. So I've, I've been able to create a kind of a, a formula or a movement in which uh, you are going to construct this key signature accurately without any problem. So and the movement is that you already know that the first sharp is on, uh, is on F, which is on the fifth line. That one is already up. It's, that is the starting point of your movement for the sharp keys. So that is F, from F, sharp. So the movement is that you are going to move down. You are going to move down, and you move down to C, to C sharp. So that is, you place sharp 
on your C. So how are you going to do that? So that is the first movement. So you move from F sharp. You have, you have written your F sharp already. So you move down. Start counting. This, the, line, the fifth line is F. The space will be what? The space will be uh, E when you read your alphabet backwardly. The space will be E. The next line will be D. I'm reading backwardly now. Don't be confused. So from F, the line, to space, the, that is E, to D, which is the line, to C. And C is on the third space of the treble step. That is where you are going to stop. And you will put your second sharp for F and C. So you put your second sharp. So that is F and C for the key of D major. Key of D major has only two sharp, F and C. Anywhere you see two sharp at the beginning of your piece of music, so you should know that uh, that is for the key of D major. So key of D major. Now, if you want to, for example, you want to read your music, for the key of G major that I've given you, your music, your do on the, on the staff start on the second line, on the second line. But here, it's not going to be the second line because you are no longer in the key of G major, but key of D major, that is the home key. D is the home key for D major. So your D on the staff, when you check, your D, you have one D on the fourth line, and you have, because this is, Above, this is uh, the level of this note on the staff is high. So you can't start your scale from there. So you have to come down. So you come down, start for another D. So if you can't get it easily, you can read from this D. So you can say your Do, Ti, La, So, Fa, Mi, Re, Do. This one lands on the space below the first line. So that is another note, which is your D. You have another D on the space below the first line. So you can start your music from there. Any note written on the space below will sound Do. So Re on the first line. Mi, Fa, So, La, Ti, Do to the last line. So we are going to do this construction of scale later, but just to give you the essence of the construction of key signature. Then the next key. The third key, I told you, is the key of A major. A major has three sharps. You already have, you already have F sharp and C sharp on the second. Now let's move to the movement. The movement says from F, you move down to C. And from C, you move up again. You move up again. And that one will give you that one will give you G. G sharp. So you have your G sharp. So that means you are going to move up from this C sharp. You move up again and look for your G. So where is your G? When you have this is your C. This will be your D. The line will be your D. E, F, and G. G is on the space above the fifth line. So that is where you are going to put your third, your third sharp. So you have your third sharp. So that is F, C, and G for the key of A major, for the key of A major. So now let's move to the next key. I believe you are following me as we are constructing each of the key signature one after the other. It's very important you follow this route. I'm going to give you another explanation. When you we construct, uh, when we finish the construction, you will see the arrangement of the notes. So you know we are constructing it one after the other, but there is an arrangement. That arrangement will be given to you at the end of the construction. So now the next movement, if you are moving to the next key, which is the key of E major. E major, e major is, the, uh, is the fourth key. E major as you already have F, C, G. F, C, and G. 
So like A major. FC and G is for the key of A major when you see three sharp. But for E major, the next sharp is what? You move down again from the movement. You move down. You move down again, and that we we give you D sharp. D sharp. So that is a you have from up to down, up and down. So now from F, I mean from G, you move down to where you have your D. So and your D, while coming down, you have your G, F, E, and D. D is on the fourth line. So that is where you are going to put your sharp. And mind you, look at the way I'm constructing my sharp. I didn't put, while constructing, uh, while putting the first sharp, I didn't put the second sharp directly under the first sharp. I moved a little bit to the right hand side. A little bit, so not directly. If you draw a line under this, so that will give you a space below the first sharp. So, and because you are going up for the second sharp, you can see there is a space before writing, before writing the, next, the next sharp. So you leave, you start moving little by little to the right hand side. You don't write directly on top or below any of the sharp. So you can see this one too. I moved a little bit because there's, there will be a space from here below the third sharp. So for the second, I mean the fourth sharp, which is your D, your D major. So that gives you fourth sharp in the key of E major. And the next key, the next key is the key of uh, B major. B major as the fourth key. So you already have you already have four shafts for E major, which is F, C, G, D. Then what is the next movement? Because B major has five shafts. Five shafts is not four like that of E major. So the next movement from the movement uh, chart given to you is that you go down. You go down again. It is not, it's from up, down, there's this, down, up, down, down. And you go down, and this one will give you, A. So you have your A sharp as the next one. So that is a, from F, I mean from D now, which is the last one here. So you still go down again. So this is the movement. If you follow this movement, you won't miss it because there is a possibility of you moving up again. Coming down, going up, coming down, then move up. Just look for where A is. But your A is down. So this is the next one. After D, you read downward because you already know you are coming down. From D, backwardly, you move to C. Backwardly, you move to B. Backwardly, you move to A. So this is a D, C, B, a, and you stop on the second space, and that's where you are going to put your fifth, your fifth sharp. So, and that gives you the key of B major, key of B major. So, you can see now, the next movement, the next key, the next movement you are going to move from A, you move up again. You move up again. So you have F, C, G, D, A. Then the next one will be E sharp. E sharp. So E sharp, let me construct the previous one, what you have for B major. So you already know how to construct that. It's on the fifth line, F sharp to C. C sharp to G sharp to D sharp 
to A, down to A, sharp, and then you move up again for E. So from A, you have your A, the line B, C, D, E. E is on the what? On the fourth space. So you don't put it directly on top of, of the last one. Don't put it directly on top, but you have to shift a little bit so that you create a space on top of this and you put your E sharp. So that is the key signature of, uh, okay, I didn't put the name, the key signature of F sharp major. F sharp major. So, So, and then the last key, anywhere you see, anywhere you see uh, five, I mean six sharps, you already know you are in the key of F sharp major. So the next will be C sharp major, which is the last key we are going to construct. So under the sharp key, you already know we have only seven sharps. So the last one will be what? You have F, C, G, D, A, E, and the movement for this will be down again. So that is the last movement. So you move down to B sharp, to B sharp. So, and that is, uh, you have your B, Y coming from E, which is the last sharp. So you have E to D to C and to B. So your B is on the third line of the treble step, and you put your sharp there. So this is the key signature of C sharp major. Anywhere you see this, at the beginning of your piece of music, you know you are in the key of C sharp major. And where will be your tonic? Your tonic, the technical name I've given to you, tonic your, is your do, which is, you look for where C is. Where is your C on the treble staff? So you have your C on the third space. But if you want to come down, so you have to come from C, you read it downward, which is B, A, G, F, E, D, then your C will be on the ledger line. There is what we call ledger line. So I am going to introduce, by the time we want to start writing, before writing our scale, I will introduce these ledger lines to you so that you will know that there is an extension for each of the staff, uh, for your staff. The extension is the lines, the short lines above or below the staff. So this is your C on the first ledger line below the treble staff. And that's where your C is. So you start your do from there. You run your do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, do, to the third space. So that is an octave, which is from C to C. So that's for the C major. Now, I want to quickly give you the construction of all of this key signature on the treble, or I mean the bass stave on the bass stave. So this is the treble stave, but how will you have it on the bass, uh, the bass stave? You know, the arrangement of lines and spaces on the bass is different from treble stave. So your line, your first line on the bass stave is, uh, that is, good boy deserve favor always. So the first line is G, the first line here is E, the first line is G. So automatically the arrangement will be different. So where is your F on the bass stave? So and it must start from up, which is like you have it on the treble stave. Your F is on the fourth line of the bass stave. Fourth line, you know, good boy deserve favor. That is F. So you start the construction of key signature there. That is for the key of G major, as you have it on the treble stave, G major. Then the second one is F, and you come down, and C. Your C is on the second space, so, and that is for D major. And the third one, which is the key of A major, A major, so 
That is a F C and a G. F C and G. You can see the placement of the key signature on the base step is different from that of the of the treble step. So that is A major. So the next one, which is E major. You have F, C, G, then D. Your D is on the fourth, I mean third line. So the next key is B major. B major. So you have your F, you have your C, you have your G. Ah, sorry. I'm constructing it as if you are on the treble step. So that's your F, C, G, and D, and D. So this next key, F sharp, F sharp major. You have your F, you come down, C, you go up, G, you come down, D, you come down again, which is, oh, I've not completed that of B major. So this is four here, this is four here, it's wrong. So that of B major, it needs one sharp again to make it B major key signature, and that will be down to A. That is the key signature of B major. Then here too, you come down, it gives you A. So then for the next one, you go up again, which is E. Your E is on the third space. So that is F, C, G, D, A, E. And the last key, which is C sharp major. C sharp major. So that is F. C, G, D, A, E, and B, your B is on the second line. So, and that is the end of all the sharps. This is how to put it on the, so if you are singing in a choir, you are singing in a choir. This is also the arrangement in your in book. This is the arrangement in your in book. You have the treble, I mean the soprano part and the alto part reading their music on the treble step. Likewise, the tenor and bass part will be reading their music on the uh, on the bass step. So, and that is the construction of the key. As you have this on the fifth line here, you have this on the fourth line. So they keep on reading their part. You know, for the tonic of G major in, on the treble step is on the second line. But for the bass step, the tonic will be on the first line. So those bass singer and the tenor singer, so they have their do on the, fourth, on the first line of the bass step. So for D major, their tonic is here on the space below. But for the bass step, the tonic is on the third line on the third line of the bass step, which is your do, your D. So likewise for A major, your A major, you have your tonic on the second space. So from here you start running your, your do, re, mi, fa, so. Then for A major on the bass step, you have your tonic on the first space, on the first space. So, and that is the construction of your, of your sharp keys on the staff on both the uh, treble staff and the bass staff. So by next class, we are going to continue so that it will not be too much for you uh, uh, to identify. So we are going to stop on the construction of the sharp keys for uh, this uh, week. So next class, we are going to continue on the construction of the, uh, the flat keys. So thank you for listening. So I wish you uh, God's, more of God's blessing till we meet again next class. Thank you very much. Goodbye for now. Okay.
see me shim. Kill the guy now. Run the gun. Get him. Ah, so me too. What? What is this? Good day, sir. You are watching Jatepan in my house. Who is King Kong, sir? Eh? King Kong. You, you've never heard of ACTV before in your life? ACTV is very educative, informative, and there is football sport there. There is entertainment. There are a lot of things you can You can even attend lectures here. All you know is watch all those nonsense artists and do, do nonsense or uh, you watch nonsense on TV. Eh? Last night you almost came in bed with your fist. It's not me, sir. Eh? You, and you wake up every morning, the bed will be so rough like you've been fighting for food your dream. Eh? That's really why you have F's in your course. like but I have, made for you. I have last semester. E, we eat by pounds for you. Very stupid. We are changing that session to ACTV right now. And oh, but the baby will be the first boy. Stupid boy. Oh, no,